This is Gareth Jones reporting. I completed a month's trek through Ukraine and Russia in March of 33. There was controversy about Stalin's new programs. My assignment was to record and report. I walked along railroad tracks, through villages, interviewed communist officials, and people of all ages. It did not take long to discover tragic scenes. On the train, I accidentally dropped a piece of bread. I picked it off the floor and pitched it into the spittoon, and quickly a peasant boy picked it out and ate it. My amazement caused the old man across from me to remark, It's terrible in Kolhos. Stalin is starving. This is Volodymyr. Stalin made this famine. Stalin locked Ukraine's food and guarded it from the people. 2,700 military sent from Moscow Polodel for enforcement. A Soviet official said, We Soviets collected all the grain, potatoes, and beets to the last kilogram. The soldiers even took bread from the tables. Famine was a weapon to destroy Ukrainian aspirations for independence. People were issued bread cards, but the bread cards were destroyed by the military. 1933 was a bumper crop, but the grain went to Stalin. Not a kernel of grain was given to the Ukraine people. Ukraine farmers rejected Stalin's enforced collectivism, so Soviet troops removed Ukrainians from their farms. И помню, когда Иван умер, совсем маленький, мы были такими слабыми, что мы положили его возле забора. Позже, когда солдаты пришли с машинами и положили тело с другими телами. Виктор Кравченко, a Soviet official, described the harvest in hell, as he called it. He said, driving through the fields, I did not hear the lovely Ukrainian songs. These people had forgotten how to sing. I only heard the groans of the dying. A Red Army Brigade general said, Всего месяц назад... Я оказался в деревне. Боже мой, вы мне не поверите, люди голодали, их скотина пала. Во всей деревне не было ни единой собаки, ни единой кошки, а это нехороший признак. In Odessa, people were arrested for selling human sausage in the marketplace. There was a saying that the sausages had been shot. One woman stole five beets and received ten years imprisonment. In one central area of Ukraine, peasants discovered the Soviets had stored a large quantity of grain. The peasants united to plead the Soviet military to give them food to those guns. The unarmed farmers were machine gunned to death. My mom told me that my grandma did the blinny from the berries. My mom didn't like them, so she ate them. But my grandma ate them, and through them she died. According to dissident Soviet demographer Maksudov, more than three million children born between 1932 and 33 died of hunger. An old man took me to his cottage. There, his daughter and three young children sat with sunken eyes and swollen bellies. Viktor Kravchenko, a Soviet official, Stated, Измождение стерло с их лиц всякий признак их юности, превратив их в истощенные горгули, и только в глазах их еще сверкали воспоминания о детстве. Ukrainians were shot fleeing into Poland and Romania. Because Ukrainian farmers refused to join the collective farms, Stalin decided to liquidate them. Hundreds of thousands packed into freight trains and shipped to Siberia. They were dumped in the Arctic without food or shelter. Eighty percent of Ukrainian intellectuals were liquidated or sent to the prison island of Solovki. The communists closed the churches. Clergy were sent to labor death camps. The death toll would equal the population of seven provinces of Canada. Twenty-five percent of Ukraine's population starved to death. Scholars estimated 8 million dead.